ladies so first off welcome to my face I'm going to be using my holy girl foundation in two different shades which is the cover girl a la stay fabulous and I use a darker and a lighter version of the foundation I applied it to the back of my hand and then with a buffing brush I dab on the foundation onto all my face and then I blend to make sure I leave it flawless looking of course covering every part of my face under my eyes my nose under the chin just a little bit towards the neck so it can blend easily now for my eyebrows I'm mixing the bar bar, bar, bar to go by white lining and the elf just because the elf doesn't have a darker version but other than that elf works perfectly fine now the concealer that I'm using I am ran out of it it's the Revlon color stay crying concealer and now for my eyes I am using the Milani brow bar to go I think it's called and it's for your eyebrows but I'm actually going to be using it for my eyes so I'm gonna start off with the lighter color and I'm packing that onto the lid of my eyes and then with a big buffing brush I'm going with the middle color which is a lighter brown and that's what I'm gonna be applying to all of my crease just to make sure I blend very well And I'm bringing it up to almost that part of your brow bone and I'm blending it very well from the outer part to the inside of my eye and of course I'm doing that to both of my eyes. And then I'm going in with the darker brown in there and the same brush what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring a little definition into my eyes and that part where that crease is a little bit dense I will apply the darker color in there and blend away to avoid any harsh lines and again I'm not trying to make a smoky look it's just some sort of definition into the eye and then with that lighter color I'm going to apply it as my highlight under my brow bone and of course always try and blend very well now I'm going to outline my eyes and I'm just using here a regular black eyeliner if I'm not mistaken this is um, NYX and all I'm doing is outlining the lash line of my eyes and then what I like to do is I like to grab a brown color just to make a little bit more on a natural side and go over that with a, br a dark brown eyeliner and then here I have a I think that's a lip I think that's a lip pencil that's a lip brush I think it's for your lips but I use it for my eyes to get sort of like that smoky look and blend it very very well and I'm blending it here and I'm bringing it out a little bit just to make that a little more dramatic and get a little bit of a wing eyeliner and again I'm doing that to both sides now I'm supposed to be using that crying concealer but again I ran out but if I was to choose that one that will be my drugstore favorite so as of right now I'm going to be using my it cosmetics again I'm really sorry it's supposed to be an all drugstore but I didn't know I had run out of that concealer so I like to do my concealer in the triangle motion because I like to bring a little bit of a highlight to my face and I got something in my eye so I'm sorry about that and it's still there and it doesn't want to go away so with my foundation brush from Real Techniques, I'm buffing it in and blending it downwards and outwards. And again, also to the other side doing the same thing. Love this technique because it brings sort of like a highlight to my under eyes. I'm just not only hiding my under eyes, but as well, I'm just bringing a little bit of highlight to it. The same thing this um, concealer does, the same thing that Crying Concealer from L'Oreal will definitely do the same thing. So now to contouring, I'm using this e.l.f. Contour Palette. It's around three bucks. And I'm using my buffing brush by Real Techniques. And I'm just going to be not doing it very defined. I'm using it sort of like a bronzer sort of look because I'm trying to make this quick and easy. So I'm just sort of putting in some color and blending it. Again, I'm bringing some definition to my face even though it's a simple look you still want to bring some definition to your face and I am applying it upwards towards the temples of my face and my forehead again I'm not overdoing it and where did I go okay I'm back and now I'm just setting everything with powder 
under my eyes, my nose, my forehead. Now with that same brush that I use for my eyes, I'm going to contour my nose. This is an extra step that you could take if you like. It's just that my nose for me is just sort of like always in the way. So I like to contour. You can leave it or you can do it. For me, I like to do it very easy and I just feel a little bit better of myself. So blending away. And now for blush, I'm using the Milani Rose Blush. Sort of uh, mauve pink. And I'm smiling, putting a little bit of it apples of my cheeks and blending upwards and then again a little bit of powder to set everything and then to finish my eyes I'm going in with the same brush that I use for my black liner and just outlining the bottom part of my waterline just to bring a little definition into my eyes as you can see it's not that much now for mascara I'm using the new Maybelline mascara and then of course my Milani and I'm going to start with the Maybelline mascara and apply a few coats of those on the top lashes and bottom lashes. For lipsticks, I'm using Maybelline from the Nude collection. And it's called Darling Nude 655. And then I'm, I'm going on top with the Rimmel 101. And the look is complete, ladies. This is all I do for my simple everyday makeup routine. Hope you guys enjoy it. And thank you so much for sticking till the end, ladies. Be blessed, precious pearls. And until my next video, bye-bye.